Hey guys, welcome back, and hey, what's up? If you're new, I'm Kelly. Today, I'm doing a funny, different kind of video called What If Makeup Tutorials Did Not Exist. I originally saw this video done by my friend Myra from Myra's Touch of Glam. I will link her channel down below. I love her. She always comes out with really creative new video ideas and I watched her video and I loved it and I could relate to it so much so I wanted to do it for you guys because I'm self-taught. I have absolutely no training when it comes to makeup. I didn't go to makeup school, hair school, cosmetology school, nothing like that. Never taken a class on makeup or makeup artistry. Um, so I completely taught myself through YouTube videos. This is literally how I used to do my my makeup prior to watching YouTube videos. I always had such an interest in makeup, but I really didn't know how to do it. I'm an only child and I have a mom that does not wear makeup, so I really didn't have anybody to go to to teach me how to do it. Um, and then I discovered the YouTube beauty community and over the years have gotten so much better at my makeup and I feel like each and every day I'm continuing to learn new things from all these awesome people that create content on YouTube. If you go back to some of my older videos, you'll literally see me looking like this, like I'm not even kidding, um, when I first started. So I've definitely come a long way, but I thought it would be funny to show you guys what I would look like if YouTube makeup tutorials didn't exist. This is what I would look like. Definitely feel free to do this video as well and tag me so I can see. I would love to watch. And yeah, without further ado, if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this beautiful makeup look, then just give this video a thumbs up and keep on watching. Alright you guys, so we're going to go ahead and hop right in. The first thing that I always did when I used to do my makeup is I actually used to start with concealer. I applied my concealer first and then I did foundation and I had no idea what primer was, so we're going to go in with concealer first. So I used to apply it under my eyes like this, like <laughs> I had no idea that there was like a triangle motion that you were supposed to do, and I'm using the shade Very Fair in the Born This Way from Too Faced because I always used a super super light concealer. So this is how I used to apply it underneath my eyes and I would always go around my nose like this because I do have a lot of redness in there so I would literally just go like that. Like all around my nose and the nostrils all up in my nose with concealer. You know, the usual. And then I used to go on my lips as well. Oh my god, I'm cringing so much at this but that's what I used to do. And then I would just blend it out with my finger because I didn't have a beauty blender. And I used brushes for some things before I started watching YouTube videos, but not my face makeup. For my face makeup, I always just use my fingers. Because um, the only kind of face brushes I had back then was like those paint brush, like foundation brushes. Um, and those didn't really work very well, so I used to just use my finger like so. I don't know how I used to do this like, because it used to, I mean, well, no. <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't know how I used to do this so well, but I mean, it didn't look good, so I guess I didn't do it well, but. I used to like think it was totally normal to just blend everything out with your fingers and now I'm like cringing. Oh. But I didn't have as long as nails back then so maybe that made it a bit easier. So once my concealer was done, I used to jump in with foundation. Now I was always a pro at finding foundations that did not match me. So I know for a fact this foundation doesn't match me. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Makeup and this is in the shade Pebble. And I know this doesn't match me, so I'm gonna use that, but I always wore a full coverage foundation. That is one thing that I did always do. I liked that full coverage face from the beginning, um, so I'm gonna go in and apply this also with my fingers. And I actually used to use this foundation all the time back in the day. It is still a good foundation. I just can't really find a shade that matches me perfectly, um, but I liked the foundation, so I used to wear it regardless of the fact that it didn't match me. Which now I've kind of grown to realize you're not supposed to do. So I used to just like literally pour it out my fingers. That's probably way too much. But then I would like dot it on my face with my finger. Like this. And then I would literally just go in <laughs> like this. Oh my god, this feels so weird. I feel like I'm applying like my moisturizer, you know? <laughs> but it's foundation that I'm actually smearing all over my face. This shade of foundation specifically like always gives me such like a gray cast on my face. That's why I never wear it. Um, but I used to like like it <laughs> back in the day. As crazy as that seems, because I felt like it neutralized the redness in my skin, but it just made me look gray, um, which wasn't a cute look either. So now that that's all done, I used to go in and set my face with powder. I did know that you were supposed to set your foundation with powder, but I didn't know that you were kind of supposed to set your undry area with like a different kind of powder and then set the rest of your face. I just used one powder for it all and it was always a powder foundation. So I'm going to use this one. This is the 4-in-1 powder foundation from Pure. And I'm just going to go all over my face with the powder. Now for a really long time, I didn't even know that you were supposed to fill in your brows. I left my brows like this. If you guys saw my How I Did Makeup in High School video, 
I had no brows on at all because that's how I used to do it in high school. But I do believe before I started watching YouTube videos, I did start to fill in my brows. But I used to use eyeshadow to fill them in um, or powder, I guess. So I have this little brow powder. This is from Rimmel London, the brow this way. And I always used to use the brunette one. So I have this one in medium brown, which was way too dark for me. And I used to fill in my brows with that. So I used to make my brows like incredibly boxy. I would literally start on the front part here and like create a box. Like I'm not even kidding now. I'm like, oh my God, why did I ever do this? But I used to like literally create a box and then work off of this, this box, like going back. And they always used to be so dark and so crazy. I feel like my brows and my how I did my makeup in high school video or my lack thereof brows because I just didn't fill them in at all actually looked better than this did but I thought I was popping you know brows on fleek all that. So now our brows are all done. We're gonna move on to the eyes. Now, I didn't really ever do much with my eyeshadow before I watched YouTube videos. I didn't really know that you're supposed to put different colors in your crease and all that kind of stuff. I kind of just like put one wash of shadow across my eyelids and was like, I'm done. So what I always use is like a super, super light, like pastel-y type shadow, like always like super light on my eyes. So I thought it made my eyes like pop more because they were lighter. So today we're gonna go in with Makeup Geek's Ice Queen. And we are just gonna pack this all over the lid. I did used to do white shadow just like this a lot. Um, and then if I used color, it was always a super light, almost white like pastel color. Don't ask me why. And I actually used to use cream shadow sometimes too. Um, I had this one from like, I don't even know what brand it was, but I used to use it all the time. And it got to the point where my mom actually hid it from me. She was like, that's horrible. Stop putting that on your eyes. It was like a cream white shadow and it would like get all crackly on my eyes. And I used to wear it. I thought that it was like so pretty. And my mom literally had to take it from me. Like that's how bad it was. Now for my eyes, I used to always do this really like jacked up wing liner, which was terrible and not even a wing. I used to always start with the wing over here, what I thought was a wing. It was more like a triangle um, and create like a triangle over here and then kind of work my way in. So that's what we're gonna do right now. And I always used to make it super thick too, like super thick. And I also would always stop it like right there. I would never bring it all the way into my inner corner because I have watery eyes. So you guys will see like typically when I use this liner, I never actually bring it into my inner corner. I'll always use some kind of waterproof product or a shadow in my inner corner so that it doesn't smudge. Um, but I just used to stop it and just not put anything in there because I didn't want it to like smudge all around. So I just used to kind of stop it there. Then for my lower liner, I used to not put anything in my waterline. I used to put it like beneath like my lash line, like my lower lash line is where I used to use like liner like this. I like never put anything in my waterline until I watched YouTube videos and like saw that that was a thing. I remember the first time I saw somebody do that, I was like, what is she doing? Is she like putting eyeliner inside of her eye? I was like so confused. I always used to use a black liner just like this, like a pencil and just like line my lower lash line. So that's what I'm going to do. And half the time since I like wouldn't set my under eye concealer, this would like smear down my under eye like during the day and I'd always be like, why does it do that? Because you didn't set your under eye concealer, Kelly. That's why, but I did not know. <laughs> then I had absolutely no idea how to apply false lashes or even the thought of like trying to conquer them. Well now I could probably put them on in my sleep, but I did not know how to use those by any means before I started watching YouTube. So I always just went in with good old mascara. So I'm gonna coat my lashes with mascara. I also never curled my lashes either. Like still to this day, I actually don't ever curl my lashes because I'm always wearing falsies anyway. So I never curl my natural lashes, but I just never did. I was always like, what is that apparatus? And why am I gonna put it so close to my eye? It's starting to smear like down my under eye. And this is what would happen like throughout the day. It would just slowly, gradually like go down my under eye because I didn't set my under eye concealer with like something. Now to finish off the rest of my face, I had absolutely no idea what contouring was, but girl, did I know what bronzing was. I used to go in on the bronzer all over my face. So I'm gonna go in with this Makeup Revolution baked bronzer and just bronze to the gods. So I used to just bronze literally my entire face because I thought that's what you were supposed to do. <laughs> literally everywhere down the bridge of my nose like everywhere and I always love the bronzers like this that have sparkle in them because I was like oh it makes me sparkle all over my face 
Then for blush, I always love to use a really bright pink blush because I thought it gave a little flush to my cheeks. Who the hell knows? I used all this concealer and foundation to cover up the natural redness that I have in my face and then I added it in with blush because I thought that was normal. Um, so I'm going to go in with this one. This is the shade Papaya from Laura Geller. And I used to apply it right to the apples of my cheeks so they looked super round. And then now you guys will know if you watch my videos, this would typically be the time that I would highlight, which I love. That's like my favorite step of my makeup routine. But back in the day before I watched YouTube videos, I didn't even know what highlighter was, nor where to apply it or anything like that. So we're just going to move past it. Then for my lips, I never did anything but nude, like ever. I always did super, super light nude lips. So my favorite lippy back in the day was Max Myth because this is a super, super light nude color. So I used to wear this all the time on top of my already concealed lips, you know, of course. But I used to wear this and I didn't know, I didn't, well, I knew what lip liner was, but I never used it. I was like, that's old lady stuff <laughs> where now I like can't live without it. And then I would always go in with some kind of sparkly gloss to add sparkle to my lips. So today I'm going to go in with this one. This is the shade Dominique from Buxom. So this is it, you guys. This is what I would look like if makeup tutorials did not exist and I had never found the YouTube beauty community, which I am so, so grateful for. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of funny, different little video. I would love to see you guys recreate it. If you do, please be sure to tag me so I can see. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.